Rene Almeida. Uh, I raised a search fund uh, with Joel uh, back in 2017. The name was 220 Capital. And the current status is now we are operating a company called Volk in Brazil. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Joel. I have been working with Rene since 2016, 2017 when we launched 220 Capital. We have been operating the business for the past four years. Uh, back then, we were only the fourth search fund in Brazil, so nobody really knew about search funds in Brazil back then. And our main difficulty was finding local investors. Also, another difficulty was uh, the bureaucracy involved in starting a search fund. Uh, it's not easy to have a Brazilian entity with American and European investors. Yeah, on the other hand, we, we do have a, a huge opportunities here in Brazil. Uh, we have a huge addressable market for almost every product or service. Uh, the search fund community grew a lot. We went from four search funds in 2017. We, we, we were the fourth to more than 20, 25 now, uh, both operating or searching. Hello everybody, my name is Anderson Gaba. I am a Stanford MBA class of 2021 and I'm the first searcher in Paraguay. I'm happy to tell you that my search fund Bridge Capital has just acquired a business three months ago. The company is in the agribusiness space, one of the main industries in the country. One of the big challenges that I think every international searcher faces is closing the loop of getting local and international investors. Another challenge that's more during the search is that things happen too fast and you, it's a very steep learning curve for every searcher. And I think it's very important to partner with search fund investors. They are willing and there to help you along the process. Hi everyone, my name is Yoshi Kurosawa. I'm a CEO of Tao, which is an education software company in Japan. I went to ESA Business School from 2017 to 2019 and started fundraising right after graduation. After more than two years of searching, I acquired Tao at the end of 2021 and I have been operating this company since then. On legal aspects, uh, I had to recreate uh, legal documents to conform with Japanese laws. It was completely new experience for me, so I learned a lot from it. There are a lot more obstacles in searching and operating phase, but thanks to search fund investors and other searchers, I was able to acquire Tao and now operating it. I think that's the beauty of search fund model. Hi everyone. My name is Ali Taha and I'm excited to share a little bit about myself and my experience working on a search fund. I've obtained my MBA from London Business School and had 16 years of experience working for Shell, mostly on managing capital investments in different geographies. I'm currently into my second month of the searching phase, but before kicking off I spoke with about 50 search fund entrepreneurs and 300 investors to learn from their experiences and I was quite amazed with how supportive the community is. On the other hand, the Egyptian market possesses a lot of opportunities being a fast-growing one, the biggest population in the Middle East and North Africa, with big potential for exporting local products and services to both Middle East and Africa. Thank you for watching and best of luck in your ETA journeys.